Um, today I wanted to talk about permaculture. So YouTube Tip Tuesday, and today I wanted to talk about grit versus talent. Now, if I had started out on my YouTubing journey with the whole package, the talent, the video editing, the um, the personal skills and people to reach out to that I could do collaborations with, if I'd had all that in the beginning, yes, I could have been a superstar overnight. And that all would have been perfect. But not all of us have everything in the package when we first start out. We may have really good personal um, magnetism that shows up good on the camera, but we may be terrible at editing. Or we may have stuff that we constantly want to talk about, lots of matter to bring into our videos, but our camera is really bad. And so what I want to say today is just because you don't have everything in your package doesn't mean anything. Between talent and grit, grit will see you to the end of your road every single time. Grit will get you there. And so we have been YouTubing just a little bit over two years. We're coming up on, we're, yeah, we've just finished our second year. And we did have our channel before that, but that I was just watching videos. I wasn't actually making them. So we've come two years and 20,000 subscribers on grit. And now I've reached the point where I am looking to gain those talents, to gain those skills. I'm learning how to edit better. We went and invested more money on a better camera. And I'm taking a really careful look at how I set up my lighting, what my backdrop looks like, taking lots and lots of takes and just honing in the way that I present myself now. And that's just okay. Grit. Of, of, of all the other qualities that I have, you can ask my husband, my stubbornness is the one that's there the most. And so I wanted, I wanted to put that out there. Stick to it. Don't give up. And along with that, I wanted to tell you that I'm changing the way that I'm doing Spotlight Sunday. In, in kind of going back and do, doing kind of a case study on my different channels that I've spotlit, I've seen a trend. The channels that are really ready, that have a certain kind and a certain quality of video, are the ones that when I do a spotlight on them, they just take off. And they don't really need me anymore. They just need that one spotlight and they just take off. And what I have found has been the key to that, it has been consistency, content, and charisma. <laughs> And all of those things can be worked on. So what I'm offering is I still want to be doing spotlights for people. And I want to, I'm, I'm going to have people that I can just put up and do spotlights on. But for a lot of you out there, you might want to work on your channel a little bit before I do a spotlight on you. Because if, if, if your channel isn't a certain, to a certain level yet, and I do a spotlight on you, nothing happens you may not have enough videos up. You may need to work on your backdrop and bring in a prettier color. Or you may need to just work on talking to the camera, learning how to talk to the camera in a way that comes along, uh, that comes alive. So you all know that my husband is out of work and I have been looking around to find ways to support my family and yet still feel like part of the community. <coughs> Instead of selling selling out a little bit and trying to sh sell something that I don't really care about. So this is what I care about. I'm offering hangouts and Skype sessions so that what I would do is I would go look at your channel. I would watch all your videos. I would take notes and then we would meet for a half hour session in which I would tell you what I would like to see changed. And then you would go and you would choose to follow through or, or choose not to follow through. But once your channel was up to the point where I really felt like people would cling to you and love you and just subscribe instantly and love you forever. When I see that point hit, then we'll do a spotlight on you. But at this point, I'm not willing to do spotlights on people that aren't ready because then it doesn't benefit them. And it makes the viewers feel like when I'm doing a spotlight, they're being sent to a channel that isn't worth watching. Now, I would have to say that that has not been the case with any of my spotlights up to this point. I've just had a couple that were, were more of a learning curve where they I did a spotlight on a good channel and then I did a spotlight on a beginning channel that didn't have as much content and I saw the difference between the ways that those views and those viewers went to those channels. 
So if you're interested in that, what it is, is I, like I said, I go watch your videos, I watch your channel, I take notes. And if there's something, and if your channel is doing really good and you're ready for a spotlight, maybe you have questions about how to get started in Instagram or Pinterest or Tumblr and how to use those sites to make your channel grow. For me, Pinterest is huge. Putting my videos on Pinterest were, is what makes most of my viral videos. And so, but you have to use it in a certain way and your videos have to be in a, a certain way in appearance. Otherwise you lose credibility by putting them on Pinterest. And so those are the things we would talk about. We do it in half hour segments. I don't want it longer than half hour because I can compress everything into half an hour and we can talk, we can get your channel up to snuff and um, hopefully it would help you. And what we're charging is $30 for 30 minutes and we'd like to keep it to half an hour. And so if any of you are interested in that, I would love to visit with you. It would be so fun to talk face to face and just so, so many of you, I'm already familiar with your channels and it would just be exciting to help you out a little bit and we'll talk to you later. Oh yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe and share my videos. Please don't share a video that you don't like. I know I have some out there where I just sit and talk and it's just me feeling freed by the experience of sharing with you guys, knowing that the video isn't going to go viral, but I just want to chit chat. So like, subscribe, go check out our website and we'll talk to you later. Hey guys, again, the sun is really bright. So hopefully you can see this. This is our front pasture and it's my death pasture. Nothing up here survives. Um, this last year we watered it with flood irrigation, but we did it with a ditch pump. We used um, a big, I think it was six inch uh, flexible pipe to get water up here. And then about every five minutes I had to come out and move it to a different spot.